Yeah, I'm making my bitches exciting. <laughs> Welcome back. If you are new here, hi, I'm Sana and welcome to my channel. I hope you've had a lovely week and enjoy this Devo. So today I thought we could look at the book of Leviticus. Yes, you heard me right, Leviticus. But please don't check out, I promise to make this book fun. So I had a dream a couple months back now and in my dream I had such an urgency to spread the gospel and tell people about Jesus and part of this was knowing the whole Bible, even the funky books like Leviticus. It's in the Bible, so it's important, so I'm going to bring some Leviticus enthusiasm today. If you just read Leviticus with no context, it's very easy to be like, this is a crazy book full of rules and laws and regulations and some wild examples of what is clean and unclean and lots of splattering of blood to be holy, you know. It's very easy to look and be like, well, this makes no sense, it's outdated, I'll just read another book. But. Here is some information about Leviticus. 89% of the book is God speaking, with 8% narration and like 3% Moses and Aaron who had a few words. This book is so God breathed. Like imagine being Moses, having God telling you all of this. Like what quality time he got. And Moses makes it clear in his writings that this is what the Lord has commanded and that it is from God and all has a purpose. Leviticus is a book of commands that the Lord gave Moses on Mount Sinai for the Israelites. But if I was going to summarise the book, I would summarise it as being set apart for intimacy and living a radically different lifestyle in response to God's holiness. You know, the commandments were not God being mean. They were given to the Israelites to purify them, to make them right with God, and so that the glory of the Lord may appear to them. The Israelites had known nothing but slavery for hundreds of years, so God knew that they needed to learn to govern themselves and to build a nation. My dad said a while back that the biggest challenge was not getting the Israelites out of Egypt, but was getting Egypt out of the Israelites. So God pulls them into the wilderness to give them this clarity after years of slavery to show them a new set apart way of living, living with justice and health and loving families and honest business. Holy living is so important to God. Leviticus 20 verse 7 says, Set yourselves apart to be holy, for I am the Lord your God. Leviticus isn't an out-of-date legal document, although I am thankful that I don't need to sacrifice animals and do some of those interesting customs now, but Leviticus is about maintaining a right relationship with God and our neighbours. The historical context for Leviticus is that Moses had led Israel out of Egypt into the desert and they built the tabernacle to worship God at the foot of Mount Sinai. This was a vital time to train them to listen, obey and function as people without being influenced by other nations and their ways. While waiting for their orders to head to the promised land, God gave these instructions so that they could build their lives and their nation on a strong foundation. So Leviticus 20 verses 23 to 24 says, do not live according to the customs of the people I am driving out before you. It is because they do these shameful things that I detest them. But I have promised you, you will possess the land because I will give it to you as your possession, a land flowing with milk and honey. I am the Lord your God, who has set you apart from all other people. Verse 26 says, you must be holy because I, the Lord, am holy. I have set you apart from all other people to be my very own. You know, God was preparing these people for the promised land. The rules, decrees and regulations are because he cares. 22 verses 31 says, You must faithfully keep all my commands by putting them into practice, for I am the Lord. Do not bring shame on my holy name, for I will display my holiness among the people of Israel. I am the Lord who makes you holy. It was I who rescued you from the land of Egypt, that I might be your God. I am the Lord. 
and then Leviticus 26 verse 46 says, These are the decrees, regulations and instructions that the Lord gave through Moses on Mount Sinai as evidence of the relationship between himself and the Israelites. So what does Leviticus look like for us? I think it's easy to judge books like this or judge things and just think that they're not relevant or that they're outdated, but 89% of this book is God speaking. And yes, the book of Leviticus was written to the people of Israel because God wanted the people of Israel to have instructions for their social and religious life. Like God wanted to show them how to live in harmony with each other and with him. But how can we apply this to our lives now? by living holy lives, by pursuing relationship with God and prioritizing it, and by being set apart. God wants to have a personal relationship with us and he wants us to be set apart for him. And this looks like walking in obedience. And if you think about it, we give children rules, not to be mean, but to protect them because we love and care for them so much. Like, don't run across the road, or don't put your hand on a hot oven. Just think how much more God would do this for us because he loves and cares for us. And this is why this book is so important because it shows us how much God loves and cares for us. And you know, as Christians, this often looks like sacrificing a lot of worldly things, going against the norm of society and standing out, which is uncomfortable and tough, but it is so worth it. Over the years, I've had to sacrifice so much time with family and friends because of being around the world. I've missed key events because of being on mission. Some people don't understand my lifestyle and why I want to spend time sharing about Jesus and populating heaven. But God sees your sacrifices. And I feel like often when we hear the word sacrifice, we think of it as a negative thing. It doesn't sound very good. But actually sacrifice is such an honor and such a privilege and you know this can look like sacrificing time to read Leviticus like not necessarily fun but fruitful and when it's for Jesus it is so worth it. So let's stand out and be set apart like I want to be hungry to live a life of holiness and I want to be set apart for God and I hope you do too. Well, that is what I have for you today. Have a great day, have a great week, and see you next Wednesday. Bye.